name If I saw you in heaven Would it be the same If I saw you in heaven I must be strong and carry on Cause I know I don't belong here in heaven Thank you, Owen. Danny? You're adorable, and I just I think you're cute. <laughs> yeah, and I think you're so cute. Well, Owen, I think you've got star quality all over you, absolutely. Simon? I think you're terrific. You've just got it. You know, whatever it is, you've got it. Wow. Good voice, look good. Chicks are going to love you. Mums are going to love you. You're hey. sailing through to the next round, you All right, that uh, was the first audition by Owen Quigg way back in 2008. Oh, Danny said he's cute. Well, the good news is, girls, he's still cute. And what's more, he's here. Mm -hmm. Owen, <laughs> good afternoon. Thanks, Pat, for having me. How are you? Uh, and we also have uh, Carl Broderick, who's here uh, with me as well. And Carl, you two are on a mission, isn't that so? Yes, we're on a mission to uh, represent Ireland in Copenhagen for Eurovision. For Eurovision. Absolutely. Uh, it's not your first time having a go? No, it's not my first time. Uh, I've left the gap of a few years, did it before with love, with a question mark. In 2005, that was, believe it or not. Um, as I'm reminded when I, I keep meeting 20 somethings who come up to me all the time and say, Oh, I loved that song. And it was like 11, and we used to dance around our kitchen to do type of thing. So, yeah, so giving it another shot now, yeah. Uh, there are five entries uh, in the final of Euro Song, and we'll hear something of the others in a moment. But first of all, I have to find out what has happened to you since that uh, great time in X Factor, reaching the final and so on. Um, what happened to you after that? Well, um, well, after the X Factor, basically, um, we toured for two years. We toured with Boys on the X Factor tour. We made an album, we had number one in Ireland, and then it got to the stage where, you know, I came out of um, school to do the X Factors, everybody knew, and like I always said that I wanted to go back and finish it, and uh, my mum was very keen on getting me back to finish it. Um, and then I went back and got all my exams, and then, you know, a couple of years later, I wanted to get back into it again, you know, so I love doing it, it's my favourite thing in the world. Um, and I just couldn't find the right door. And then whenever I got approached about, you know, maybe being Ireland's entry for the Eurovision, you know, I was completely well for that. I mean, not many people get the opportunity, so, you know, I was grateful to be even asked. So here I am now, and, yeah. you know, honestly. And had you been gigging around, doing anything at all yeah, in the music business? Yeah, I've been doing, um, like, acoustic gigs and stuff um, uh, locally around, you know, Ireland, and um, lock pantos and stuff, and acting jobs as well. So, you know, to keep me going as well as, well as my education. But now that I'm out of that, like, I want to just do full-time music. Now, what was it like when you uh, you came third, wasn't it, in the yes. X Factor? And the winner that year was Alexandra. Alexandra yeah. And who was second? JLS. JLS. What yeah. a trio! It was it was a strong a very year, very strong, very final. strong year. Now JLS have since then disbanded. Alexandra is still uh, going her uh, her way and yeah. and doing well. Um, so you want to get back in and? Yeah, perform. I mean, I think I'm the right age for it now. Whereas. You know, I would never change anything in the past. It was an unbelievable experience and it gave me a, a, an amazing platform. But I just think now that I'm more mature and, you know, I know more about it. Um, You're more mature at 21. <laughs> 21. I'm more mature, like, so I am... I think this is the right age for me now, like, but I still I wouldn't change anything that happened back then. The, what you do have already, whether you know it or not, realise it, I mean, you have name recognition anywhere. Yeah. Because your name, it's not like you're Pat Kenny, there's loads of me all <laughs> around, there's dozens and dozens of Pat Kennys around yeah. the country. There are prob there's probably only one, oh, yeah, right? I think so. <laughs> so, both here and across the water, you will already be well known, which is a. Which is, a, 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 a is an added bonus, of course, um, but we're sort of. We know that in a way, but we sort of just want to keep doing everything we can do to make this a success and do as much as we can. So, um, 
you know, I'm not trying to let that get to my head too much, you know. Now, tell me how mad it did get, though, on the on the X Factor tours and the boys' own uh, and so on. I mean, the girls absolutely loved it. It was crazy. Like, every night we were playing sellout gigs of 15,000 and people screaming your name. And, you know, I was literally on cloud nine. It was the best experience of my life. Um, it was so good. Um, but I think I'm more ready for it now than I was then. Yeah, and um, your head wasn't turned then by all those... No, I think I was just too young, you know, I was just enjoying life, you know, I didn't stop to think how amazing it was and stuff, but um, no, I wouldn't change it for anything, like... Yeah, now, um, you're going to actually be very brave, and yeah. you have a guitar with you, I do, and you're going here. to give us just a sample of yeah, the song that uh, is going to compete with the other four. Yeah, I'm just going to give a sample of uh, our Eurovision entry, which is called uh, The Movie Song. <laughs> To get inside the candy shop and lose a key I want to know I'm real In the fears that I feel All I add up to something that's a deal I want to lay on a car looking up at the stars Like they do in the movies I want to say that it's groovy no one says that anymore I wanna be a big romantic fool Instead of cool But all of this means nothing without you So that's a taster for it's you very good I mean, there are no effects, there's nothing It's just you and the guitar it's And it's absolutely terrific And it shows that you never lost that wonderful singing <laughs> voice That you had when you auditioned for X Factor um, th To get to the Eurovision final Mm -hmm. um, it's a big deal and it's also a big payday isn't it Carl? Well yeah when you think about people like um, Red One the number one producer in the world had a song in Eurovision for Russia in 2012 you know he's working with people like Lady Gaga, Nicki Minaj so it's such a big platform, you know, sometimes we don't actually realise it over here, you know. And win, lose or draw, you end up on the Eurovision uh, CD. Absolutely. And DVD, if there is one. Absolutely. And yeah. So that uh, actually is good for a songwriter. Yeah, and it, I mean, it, it's a great platform for own, you know. Um, we're trying to, you know, I think the song, it, like, the one word that's been used about it is that absolutely wonderful word, original which is just, is great, you know? And we've tried everything in the last couple of years, you know, all the bells and whistles. And I just, you know, songs like this have been, in this kind of genre, in Eurovision, have been making it to like the top five in the last couple of years, you know? So we're absolutely sure that we'll actually stand out rather than all the, the bells and whistles, you know, with a bit of class and it, a blooming good song sung really well by it. A young chap who has a wealth of experience, as we've just heard, you know. All right, now let's hear uh, a medley of uh, just a few seconds of each of the other four songs. Have you have to? Unlike, <laughs> we do, yeah, just to be fair. <laughs> but but I mean, unlike uh, Owen, who just did it with guitar, this is the the, the full production uh, yes, of each that of was the four. Just an acoustic version. Yeah, yeah. So so let's have a listen. <laughs>
just tasters of the other four entries uh, Cam Lynn featuring Casey Smith with Heartbeat Laura O'Neill You Don't Remember Me Andrew Mann with Be Mine and uh, finally Patricia Rowe and Don't Hold On um, What do you think of the other entries Carl? I think they all have their merits I definitely Very do. Very diplomatic. I know. <laughs> but the, 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 the thing is about any of them, you could hear them on the radio. Okay? You know, they are all uh, oh, modern. Oh, there's, there's a good standard this year, definitely. I mean, and then, but there's, you know, there's no fun in winning out over, over bad ones. So it's, it'll be, you know, it'll be great to actually to win because it's a good it's a good you know a good race you know now Owen what would it mean to you to get to Copenhagen to represent Ireland I mean it would be a, it would be a great honour I mean um, singing for your country on an international stage is something that not many people get to do so to get that opportunity I'd be very grateful and you know if people like the song and they vote on the night and we do get there I mean we're going to work Ten times as hard, harder, you know, to do well in the Eurovision if given the chance. So, um, yeah, if I get it, like it'll be amazing. It'll be over and, and you've done it before. You've stood out there in front of thousands of people. You yeah. know what it feels like. Yeah. And Simon Cowell, if he thinks you have it, then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd argue. I know. I mean, like I have done it before. It's it's been a while, and I had that taste for it before. But I'm ready for the full meal now. Mm -hmm. All right, and and uh, if you were to make it, and uh, it is an open competition between yeah. those five uh, songs in the Euro song final but if you were to make it uh, you would be reintroducing yourself via Eurovision to your UK audience yeah I'm I've had a lot of um, over Twitter I've had a lot of hype about it from people in the UK so they know about it mm -hmm. so um, they're they're looking forward to it and hopefully if uh, I can get to the Eurovision and stuff they'll be able to see me sing live yeah, it's been a great well, reaction. Like even like what was a gay radio UK, and we all kind of know the gay gay people really like Eurovision. Have called it brilliant. Said yeah. it's not what they're expected at all, and that they hope we represent Ireland. And the feedback is just great from the UK. You know, they can still only give you twelve points. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> that'll be grand for us. <laughs> all right, look. Uh, thank you both for coming in, uh, Carl Broderick, uh, the can, writer. Can we just yeah. say that's released on iTunes on the twenty first of February, and you can pre order it now. All right. So, and please give us your vote on the 28th. <laughs> very thank good. You. Carl Bradrick and Owen Quigg, the singer of uh, the song, the movie. Thank you very much thank uh, you for, for joining us. Um, we'll be talking about weather, the bad weather, after this.